Sri Lanka is facing yet another uh, disaster in the form of uh, express pearl uh, ship that uh, entered our waters with uh, toxic chemical material uh, and caught fire near the uh, Colombo harbor. And now this is in to on top of uh, uh, the disaster that we are now facing uh, due to uh, mishandling uh, of the COVID-19 situation uh, and the country is reeling uh, under the third wave. The express uh, pearl uh, issue of course was entirely uh, our own seeking uh, because we find that uh, the ship uh, laden with uh, such uh, dangerous uh, material on board had been permitted to enter our waters uh, by our own authorities. The question is whether uh, they were warned previously uh, as had uh, other uh, countries. Uh, we learned that Qatar and India refused permission for the ship to enter their waters. Uh, did our authorities uh, know what was on board? Uh, without knowing could they have uh, given approval for the ship to enter our waters? Uh, why did it come into our port? Uh, where was it headed? Uh, what was the intended use of all this toxic material? Now, these are uh, hard questions that the government cannot uh, stay from answering. All that the president says uh, is not to make this uh, a political issue. Well, it is a political issue. Uh, it is an issue of uh, uh, total ineptness uh, at, the, at, the, at the best of the government. Uh, but there may be uh, various other factors uh, that will emerge uh, if this is properly inquired into. The Minister for Ports and Shipping is uh, silent. Um, the Minister for Waterworks, of course, has said that uh, we will benefit by this because we will receive uh, compensation. Uh, the government tried to uh, tow the ship away into uh, uh, the deep sea. Uh, now that in itself might be a violation of uh, international law. Uh, we uh, have commitments, obligations uh, under the Convention on the Law of the Sea. Uh, we also have our own uh, law, uh, antiquated it may be, uh, Marine uh, uh, Pollution Prevention uh, Act. Uh, what liabilities arise uh, as a result of what has happened uh, must be looked into, but uh, primarily uh, the government must answer uh, to the citizens uh, who uh, are unable to access the beach. Uh, our marine um, uh, resources uh, have been devastated. Uh, the fishermen are unable to go to sea. Uh, people are apprehensive about uh, eating fish. Uh, this is uh, at a time uh, when people are anyway uh, struggling to uh, make ends meet uh, with a prolonged uh, lockdown or curfew or travel restriction or whatever that the government is still unable to describe. Uh, and uh, in a situation like this, uh, the government's uh, silence uh, is deafening.